We are on the prowl today. We are looking for something to eat, and we want it to be completely different than anything we've ever eaten before. And I see something in the distance right there, Jake. Can you tell me what that is? Oh, I see a girl on a billboard. No, 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 no. I love that girl. I always say hi to her. Yeah, her name's Melissa. But, zoom in right there. Is that a vegan Mexican restaurant? Oh, it looks like a little hole in the wall, too. We're gonna try that. We're, we're holding up traffic just because we wanted to stop there. I gotta flip around. I think they'd be very interesting. And I think we haven't done a guest the review in over a month. So let's do it. You guys know, whenever I do a guest the review, there's gonna be random codes popping up on the screen, like this one. If you go to Amazon, you can claim this code, all right? There's gonna be, throughout the video, make money watching my videos. You know what I mean? It's a good deal, if you ask me, right, Jake? I think it's an awesome deal. All right, here's another one. Now enjoy. Let's try this place out and see if we can guess the review. And welcome back to a brand new episode of my Not So Sure Life Choices, starring yours truly, Brennan Taylor, the gift giver himself. There's another code. And we have my brother Jake behind the camera. Hello. So, I've never had Mexican vegan food before. That sounds very interesting, so I can only imagine what the reviews would be like on something like this. Maybe they're really good. Maybe this is delicious. Maybe I might throw up. Who knows? Let's go inside and find out, though. So zen. Yeah. Yes. Do we sit down or do we order? No, sit down. Okay, so you know how like vegans are very like one with earth and very like earthly, spiritual, I feel like, and Mexicans are very colorful and very, you know, such. I feel like this place is the perfect combination of the two. <laughs> the music is so zen. I feel like I can meditate to this, but we still got the colors and the ambience of a Mexican restaurant. And that's what excites me. I mean, everything here, I mean, it's Mexican vegan food, no duh. This is the craziest fusion I think I have ever been a part of. I had Kogi at Coachella, which is Korean Mexican food, and now I'm having Mexican vegan food? What is this world turning into? I'm super excited about this. Let's check out this menu and see what they're working with. I've actually been thinking, like, I want to possibly turn vegan, because, every, you know, ever since we started doing, like, I can't turn vegan, what am I saying? We eat too much food for videos. Yeah, once this can But I want to try it, like, once a, once a weekend, you know? Other I'm half vegan, I'm part vegan. I'm three quarters pe vegan. I'm, one seventh. I'm one seventh vegan. Jake and I just figured out something. We need to have a full tripod whenever we film because we need to take these food reviews to the next level. Yeah, we usually carry this thing. And now let me show you what we're working on. Take a picture of this whole setup. How we're in the middle of a restaurant with a full tripod. Like we really are out here now. We're stepping up our game. We're trying to become the best of the best. And don't worry, by the end of 2019, we will be. So we're ordering like half the menu today. We figured we need to get a lot of food to really try this place out. We and can't we're just hungry. Get, and we're starving. We gotta stop the food. I'm hoping it's a five star. Cause Me too, like, I don't know. I mean, the service is pretty good so far. So I'm thinking that it has to be minimum right now. Three star. Unless, Unless she just thinks we're cute and she's being nice to us. Because I haven't seen her talk on this phone over here at all. Food has arrived. First look at all this food, and oh my god, did they bring us out a lot of food, man. I'm not too sure what is what, but I don't know. I think this has to be the burrito. Why wouldn't the burrito be closed? It's almost like a giant taco in a way. It's filled with rice, you got a carrot on the side, you got the beef, you got avocado on top. I don't really know what else is in here. You got oh, a double tortilla, so extra carbs. I'm guessing it's all wheat, whole wheat. Yeah, um, and because vegan, they don't eat, they don't get the protein sources, so they might have to eat the extra protein. Yeah, yeah. there's there's the, the cheese inside, there is beans inside, there is pico de gallo and cilantro to top it all off. It looks rather good. It can almost fool me for thinking it is actual yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, definitely. Then we have a chicken quesadilla, a chicken quesadilla. So fake chicken, obviously, oh, fake, fake cheese. cheese. Yeah, so it's all soy. Then we got guac. Instead of chips, we give you carrots. Not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, overall, I feel it, like it's, it's gonna be very, yeah, very definitely. healthy. And then we got a cheese and banana right here, and this is gonna be filled with cheese. And keep in mind, this isn't real cheese. This is soy. So, as you guys remember, one time when I did do the vegan food review, I talked about how I had, you know, like a chicken quesadilla one time, and I'm still trying to find a really good one. So that's why we got this one. This is gonna be straight cheese. So this is gonna really determine whether or not yeah. we can accept you know, soy food Definitely. into our bodies. And this is a chili ranchero. I'm not too sure what it is, but they, they highly recommend it. 
loaves of tortillas on the side so you can make like a little taco or a little burrito taco. out of it. It looks like it's going to be good. It looks like it's going to have a little spice to it. You got the perfect grains on the side. You got the beans, pinto beans with... Ah, uh, not done though, Tanya. Let's eat. Okay. <laughs> anyway, right. You got pinto beans with the cheese is what I'm trying to say. Oh, so the cheese isn't completely melty like I thought. That is kind of a letdown look. I pulled it apart, the cheese came right out because it's not fully melted. The cheese kind of just sat here and didn't really go anywhere. It's not melted that well, but the only thing that I feel is because it's not real cheese. It doesn't have the same sticky aesthetics as, I mean, mine just isn't melted that much. I'm gonna give it a go and try it out. The bread is so fresh. Okay. Cheese tastes like good though. I've had a couple of vegan places. It kind of just tastes like it's like a bunch of bread with a little like flavor. Maybe you can dip it in a salsa or something. See, I personally don't mind it. You have to go into it knowing it's not real cheese and it tastes good. It's a different taste. You're not like I'm thinking about like wanting to taste no, cheese. You're not going to, but it's the same texture. It, vegan food is all about the texture. It's supposed to feel, smell, and look like what it is. I mean, it does look like cheese, it just doesn't look like it's that melted of cheese. This bread is so good. The bread is amazing. It's like so doughy. It's so good. Maybe we should try this one before it gets too cold. Yeah, definitely. Right, let's try this, here we go. That's actually really good. Oh my God, it's really the good. The cheese actually tastes like cheese in this. I'm, def I'm not a huge fan of the tortilla though. The tortilla is not that bad to me. It's almost like a torta and it makes it like a little crunch to it. Yeah. And I actually kind of enjoy it. Surprisingly enough, this is probably the best quesadilla at a vegan restaurant that I have ever had. As of right now, what do you think the rating is? I think it went up to a four. Really? 3.5. I think 3.5, maybe 3.7. I'm still working away. We gotta see the bathroom. We gotta see what that looks like before we can make sure. assumption. One factor that I think will bring down this Yelp review is the parking situation outside. Parking yeah. situation was a mess. There's like two spots for each business. And this has four businesses in a single corner. We did notice that one person did have a ticket, what it looks like, outside. So like you have to be really careful where you park. And then the street. This is a busy street. There's yeah, no street really parking street. either. So if you want to come here, you basically have to like be prepared that you might have to park really far away. Definitely. So I don't really know how we're supposed to eat this. Like I think we're supposed to cut it because there's, we go. there's no way that we're I'm gonna pick this up. It's a giant taco. Let's see what we're working with here. As the base drops. Like, I knew vegan food was decent, you know, I've had uh, the good old veggie grill every once in a while and it tastes superb. This, on the other hand, is something else, man. I feel like I've just stepped into a new world. Like, I can understand why people can be vegan and survive. <laughs> Press this right back. I love this because it actually tastes like Mexican food. It, the cilantro, the pico de gallo, the beans, the rice, all gives the flavor of like authentic Mexican food. But knowing and, that it's not, it's still amazing as well. You can't necessarily it? tell that it's fake, like, like, because I mean, like, think about it. This chicken is probably nuts. From my knowledge of vegan food, they make like certain patties and stuff out mm -hmm. of like nuts. Right. So this chicken looks like it has a bunch of like nuts inside of it. Oh yeah, it almost looks like a granola bar. In yeah. A way. Yeah. When you eat it by itself, it doesn't really taste like anything. It has the texture of chicken. It has the texture of chicken, but it almost doesn't taste like anything at all. But when you have it in a combination with beans and rice and you know, pico de gallo, avocado, you almost trick your mind into thinking that you're actually at a Mexican restaurant and you're eating Mexican I think that's food. the whole point of it. I think it is just a trick on your mind, because like, if I eat this with this tortilla, I think, wow, that's a good burrito. Yeah. Amazing. Oh yes, okay, so next, they're giving us some vegan tortillas, totally organic, you know, farm raised probably, right? I don't know. It is the perfect amount of combination of different flavors. Finishes it off with a guac. You get the cheese right. and the beans, which actually tastes like cheese and beans. And then there's chili right now. It has the slightest like chilies in there. So you taste a little bit of like habanero or whatever. And it tastes good. Like, it's not like too spicy. It's not too overpowering. I could even add some probably sriracha sauce or some tapatio and it would go next level. This is so good. The rice on the other hand is very grainy. It just kind of tastes like grains. It doesn't really taste like it's rice. But it is rice, that's what's weird. It's like it's just like 
grainy rice. It's just prepared differently. Yeah, it's prepared differently. Like, it's not the normal Mexican rice that you would expect no, to see at a restaurant. because normal Mexican stuff is prepared with a lot of lard and fat. So even the beans itself would be cooked with like a lot of fat. And that's why they taste so good. But here, it's probably just cooked with just water. And that's what keeps them like vegan. And one of the most interesting things to me, if you guys didn't know, pinto beans actually have pork in it. Except yeah. these ones do not. They're perfectly clean and they're perfectly awesome. Like I have a good buddy named Billy who can't eat pork because of his religion, he's Muslim. So that is a really cool alternative that people can have and still taste the pinto beans, you know what I mean? Definitely. Without actually having to eat the meat of an animal. I'm gonna let him try this out so you can see his face. Zoom in on that. Next level. That is next level right here. All Enjoy together, it. you would have no idea that No you're idea. Eating. Serve me this late at night when I'm drunk and I'm, I'm gonna be happy because I, I got a good oh, meal, man. healthy, totally GMO free. I think in my opinion, vegan food works because of the combinations of it together. Mm -hmm. Like separately by itself, like the chicken was a huge fan. Like the meat on this literally looks like it's a bunch of like ground nuts and stuff to look like the texture of like beef. Ground beef. Ground beef. Exactly. So it is really good. I mean, everything tastes fresh. It has to taste fresh. If it was anything from the day old, you would be able to tell. tell. This. The weirdest thing too is that like all together, it tastes like real food, but you can kind of distinctly taste all the different ingredients inside, and they all equal together to make it taste very good. Yeah. And this is Jake's bathroom review. First off. They, the kitchen and the front desk is literally right behind me, so they heard me do that a whole thing. But all right, coming to this bathroom, it's literally a basic bathroom. They have this picture that says, I want happiness, I want happiness. First remove I, that's ego, then remove what? That's a stupid, I'm not even gonna finish that. In case Jake didn't talk about this, I'm gonna talk about this poster that's in here, I want happiness. And there's a guy grabbing the sign. First remove I, that's ego. Then remove one, that's desire. Now all you're left with is happiness. And I really like this page. All right, back to the, the real bathroom here. You have a clean toilet. You have a clean sink. You have some soap. Let's check this water pressure out. Awesome water pressure. Let's see how long it takes to get hot. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's hot. That's always a plus. They have the toilet seat cover, so you don't have to get your butt dirty. And a full bowl of toilet paper. And I think that's all you need in a bathroom in a vegan restaurant. There is some graffiti, but they actually drew a very cool dog. I'll show you. Then we'll get back to my food, because I'm hungry. Look at that little guy. All right, back to the food. We both finished both of our two yeah. entrees. So if you think about that, I actually kind of ate most of that thing. So I kind of had three in a way. Yeah. I'm really full. Like I was thinking to myself right now, like, damn, I ate a lot. Here is the absolute total. $39, not only is it super clean, super good, but it's, it's super cheap. clean, it's cheap. Yeah, the bathrooms you said were nice. The the actual, like, what this place looks like is very nice. Yeah. I guess the only way we can really judge this is let's get back home and let's make our guesses. Yeah, let's do it. It is that time to guess the rating. This one is gonna be probably one of the hardest ones, I think, because the fact that it was so good but so cheap, it's yeah. like, it's so different. It's a toss up. It's a toss up because it could be like low stars and that's why it was cheap, or it could be very high stars. And it could be like a hidden gem too. Like, no one knows that. Knows Maybe there's no stars. reviews. Like, what if it's a zero review? Then I will leave the first review. Okay. So, with that being said, let's judge, okay? Right. So, judging off of cleanliness, service, food, I'm gonna give the place. From my point of view, there is nothing wrong with anything. I went to the bathroom, it was nice in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say 4.5 stars. Okay. And I'm gonna say one money sign. Okay. I'm gonna say two money signs. I'm gonna say 3.5 stars. And the reason why it's 3.5 stars is because of the parking situation and the location. So those are gonna okay. be the majority of those comments. So three and a half stars and four and a half stars. We're a whole star off. Yeah. Close your eyes. And ah, oh, dang, okay. So what it is, is actually four stars, one money sign. This is the first we've ever seen it. Both of us were yeah. wrong, which means I think both of us have to pay for our own flights to Italy. I guess so. 
I honestly thought I was on to something here. This is actually really good reviews. Four stars, almost 500 reviews, one money sign. Wait. There really isn't anything you can go wrong with this place. Let's read a four star. Small hole in the wall, home vibes. Feels like you're in your aunt's kitchen. The flavors are amazing, however. The menu has a broad range of options to choose from. I would return, but my boyfriend didn't care for what he ordered, a sandwich. We may repeat. Well, that's on your boyfriend for, for seriousness. Like, why would he get a sandwich at a Mexican place? I don't know. Here's a two star. I really wanted to like this place because it's vegetarian slash vegan, but it wasn't very good. The burrito was pretty bland and the pizza was great. The pizza was better than the burrito though. The staff were really sweet, though the prices were reasonable. Something about the food just tasted a little off. Never very fresh. I don't think we'll be back. Huh. That's strange because for us, it tasted rather really, really fresh. Yeah. Like here's a one star now. Let's see what these people have to say. This was literally a couple, like two weeks ago. There's two one stars back to back, so let's read it. Horrible, for a lack of better words. The food was nasty, there was no flavor. Living in LA and having many different vegan vegetarian options, this is the end of my list. Staff and restaurant are lovely, however the food is disgusting. There's actually th three of them in a row. The burrito tasted really bad. Bad idea to put tomato inside of a, a burrito. What do you think Pico de Gallo is? What are you talking about? Don't recommend this place unless you're a vegetarian and maybe not even then. Honestly, Sam S, unless your name is Sam Smith, you can't even have that name. Second, the place was, I thought, pretty damn good. Yeah. Not deserving one star at all. I could see maybe leaving a three star and just being like, I didn't really like it, but like, even then, like the place was really good. I've been coming here for years. I love it. Vegan, vegetarian, comfort food. They have so much to choose from on their menu and it's a great place to bring non-vegetarian. Okay. It's a great spot that isn't expensive like most vegetarian spots. The staff has always been so friendly and welcoming. It's a great find. I honestly have to agree with these people. I definitely feel like it is a great find and I definitely think that I might return. Yeah. I don't definitely. see any reason not to. I can understand why it has a four star. It's almost there. There is just a couple people that you know necessarily aren't vegan or vegetarians yeah. that are just trying this stuff out and didn't like how it's like a little bit more plain. Yeah, it's not the most rich in flavor because it's not real meat. You yeah. know what I mean? You're eating fake stuff like that's like pretending to. Tofu and There's only be so much flavor in that stuff. Yeah. That was our thoughts on it. I wonder what you guys guessed. So let us know where you guys want us to go next. The next place we actually have on our list should be New York and then we're heading to Italy next month. So get ready for those. But in the meantime, we need more states to go visit. So let us know in the comments below. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. You guys are welcome for all the money that I put in this video. What can I say? I'm a nice guy and I like to give back. Pick up some merch at BrennanTaylor.com, go stream my music, and I'll see you guys next time we post. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.